Hello everyone and welcome to day three of the trainings here in this series. My name is Stephanie. I am your resident IEP coach and veteran special education teacher. Today we're going to be talking about taking all of your students IEP goals. So the first thing you want to do is to grab all of your students IEPs. I have some sample ones that I've scoured the internet for that you can if you want to find sample ones. Google it. Um, but I have some sample IEPs that I'm going to show you here when I flip my screen around to show you my screen. But we're going to be talking about taking all of those IEP goal skills and organizing them in a way that makes it visually so much easier to see all of your students' IEP goals, all the skills that they're working on in one place. And so what we're going to be doing is, again, you're going to need your student IEPs and you're going to need either a Google spreadsheet that's blank or you're going to need Microsoft Excel. You can use either one. They both function pretty much the same. I'm going to be using Google Sheets and I'm going to flip my computer around, walk you through the process. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. We're going to organize IEP goals by the actual IEP goal skill first. And then the second way that I'm going to show you is organizing it by domain. So what does domain does that skill fit into? And I'm going to explain that to you as well as we walk you through it. So buckle in, let's get started, let's go. We're gonna start with a blank spreadsheet in Google. And so all I'm doing, I already had a vision for this when I started, I'm gonna put the student's name down that left side. And then at the top is where I'm going to have all of the IEP goals because we're gonna do IEP goal skills first. And so I'm just freezing the different rows. I'm making sure I have check boxes, dragging them all across. And now it's time to put the goals in at the top. And so this is where you take your student's IEP goals and just pull the skill. You're not writing the IEP goal verbatim. You're just taking the skill that the students are working on and throwing it in that top section there so that you can easily check it off with the check boxes. As you begin working through multiple students on the same spreadsheet, you're just going to check off the boxes that match the IEP goal skills that that student is working on and keep adding those skills as needed. On the flip side of this, if you wanted to organize by domain instead of IEP goal skill, I'm doing the same exact thing here as I did before, setting up the student's name on the left, freezing the top row. I'm actually going to end up freezing that first column as well. But in the top row, instead of the IEP goal skill being there at the top, I'm going to put the domain. And so I'm just using the domains from our IEP matrix. I'll link it below this training so you can see the different domains that we cover with our IEP matrix. But all of our, my, my students' IEP goal skills are going to fall into one or multiple of these different IEP goal domains for ELA. And so I'm going to highlight the ELA skills in a specific color. And then when it comes to adding in mathematics, I'm not going to make a new spreadsheet. I'm going to just keep adding it there to the side. And you can see I froze that first column there, so that way when I toggle back and forth, the student's names stay and I don't have to keep remembering whose name is where. But now I'm putting in all of those math goals, um, but those are the domains for the math goals. And so as I put students' names in here and I checkbox everything off, I'm just going to check the domain that their goals are going to cover. Oftentimes, most of our students are working on multiple of the same domain of IEP goal, and that's what makes this type of spreadsheet so easy to use and manipulate because we can just check box and say, I have multiple students working on comprehension or fluency. Pretty easy, right? I love that it takes everything from these piles and piles and piles of paperwork and makes it much more visually appealing and visually easier to have everything organized and out on one piece of paper. And so I hope that seeing it in two different methods was easy for you and it made sense. I didn't wanna to get too crazy into it. I am not super literate when it comes to Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel, that is not my zone of genius. But being able to just organize things in this manner and do it in a very simple way where there's nothing Oh, there's nothing like frou-frou or fancy about it. It just works and it's just check boxes. You just have to make the format yourself first. And so I hope seeing that and seeing me do it from start to kind of finish was very easy for you to follow along with and it was helpful or gave you some ideas about how you could better organize 
all of your students' IEP goals on one sheet. You could also do this with student accommodations. Um, you can do this for your classroom. You could do this for students who travel into a specific specials, and they're just going to be working on specific skills of IEP goals in that classroom. If you're co-teaching, you could do this per period or per, per class that you're co-teaching. Again, with accommodations, you could easily do this as well. Have a sheet of accommodations, have a sheet of of IEP goals that students are working on. Again, it just makes it very visually appealing and very simple to follow along with and know, hey, I have a student. All of these students have a comprehension goal. We're working on comprehension today so I can take data on all three of these things. If you are, are all three of these students, if you are looking for more information on data collection, when it comes to just data collection in general, inside the intentional IEP, we have our entire five pillars of IEP writing and, and the entire pillar three is all about data collection. We have intentional data collection, the course, and then there are other trainings in there talking about analyzing data, doing digital data, hybrid taking data. All of the data things are inside of the intentional IEP membership. So I'm going to link that below here for you as well if you want to check that out. We will see you tomorrow. We're going to be talking all about taking all of these IEP goals now, the skills, and building out baggies of work or IEP bins of work. Basically, we're going to be prepping those evergreen things. And to me, evergreen things are going to be those activities that I can use year round with multiple students. It's not something that has snowmen on it that I could use in December. You could certainly use that year round, but it's nothing that's going to be themed or a thematic unit for any type of thing. It's just going to be a, a color activity, maybe with colored circles that you can use all year round with multiple students. And so tomorrow we're going to be talking all about that. I'm going to talk to you about how we're going to take these skills, figure out prerequisite skills for these IEP goals. What do our students need to be working on in terms of prereqs and the skill and the next level of skill and kind of building those things out and storing them and prepping them and getting them ready. So so I will see y'all tomorrow for tomorrow's training. Thank you so much for being here. We'll see you.